I'm Susan Kelman, and this is Secret Scotland. As always, probably update you on the very first point of our journey with an epic fail already. <laughs> So we had an enormous torrential downpour in Crowborough and so there were no trains. So our very first train journey <laughs> was cancelled. And our so, house flooded. And our house flooded, so which was us. awkward just before we went away. So we're at Tunbridge Wells Station now. Uh, so it should be no great shakes uh, and we should be able to get there. Probably going to end up there a little bit early and be hanging around in London with nothing to do. But we've got all our packs and stuff here. I'd forgotten when we went to Europe how heavy uh, mm -hmm. it was to cart all your stuff around with you for uh, for two weeks. And um, we've got a load of stuff for a picnic tomorrow as well. But anyway, all being well, we should make the sleeper at Euston at 20.45, because we've got four hours to do that, uh, which is plenty of time to get to London. So I just started off with a quick little meal in Fuller's where Mrs. C has got a lovely salad here, um, but she's also ordered a plate full of chips. I was um, not quite so reserved in my choices and just gone for the fat ass pie. I've been on a diet for too long. Ah, got a little bit of time to kill. We got here quite a bit early. Welcome to our crib. Here we have a window. Oh, it did have a lovely view of Post Office Tower, but now it's got a lovely view of some people on the train, which is unfortunate. Um, we've got a sink. Look, very nice. We've got a blind. We've got window lights. Got a little mirror here. Cute. I thought that might move. I'll just rip it off the wall. We got some little bowls of water. And look at this, how cool is this? Harris Tweed wall. A whole wall of Harris Tweed. It's a beautiful thing. We've got, what's that? Speak and wait. So that obviously goes with the host call, which is screaming at me to touch it. Press the button, press the button. Do not press the button. Um, we've got a lovely Fort William. Thing. We've got a double bed, guys. We've got a double bed. This is not bunk bed territory. So we've got coat hangers. Oops. We've got another Harris Tweed wall, <laughs> which I missed because I'm a bit thick. We've got a little toilet here, which I'm a little bit scared of. <laughs> Look, it's got lift up toilet paper. <laughs> Don't point that thing down the toilet, it's weird. But also in here, which is weird, we've got a shower. I don't think I'll be using the shower because a little bit of an issue with public showers and things. Right, and I found an accommodation guide, which would have been more sensible, really, to look at this first of all. And there is a little table. Are you ready? Ooh. For the full dining experience on the food that they're not giving us under discounted ticket that we're not having but you know never mind never mind oh it's very easy one way a little bit terrifying the other way Ooh. and a bin and a towel and a space for my bag no these are for the people who haven't got a bed that's just oh sad just a chair oh bless bless we've got some freebies so I have been spoiled so I thought I'd be in bunk beds so I've got some hand and body wash and some conditioning shampoo and some hand and lotion no hand and body lotion and some pillow spray delightful and it's got the same and journey of a night time sleeper gear earplugs and eye mask that's cool Do I look peaceful? <laughs> you still oh, have it works, here. <laughs> and now we've got, look at this cool little bag. I don't know what's in here. It's for us to keep. Oh, <laughs> everything's for us to keep. <laughs> oh, it's just big bottles <gasps> of the same thing. No, because we've got the shower. Yeah, but we've got the shower stuff here. I mean, how much showering are we going to do? I think quite a lot, given That's the amount of... It's a lot of shampoo. I might get a shower now. <laughs> and another one later and another in the middle of the night and another in the morning. 
I love this little bag though. Yeah, that's definitely all coming with me because, well, obviously it just is. So here we've got, what have we got here? Do not disturb button, a reading light, um, a pluggy thing for your mobile. Oh, this is cool. Oh, and the whole door mirror. I thought that was a bit of an awkward spot for a mirror there, I suppose. It just gives you more light, really. <laughs> That's cool. Thank you. This footage might be a little bit uh, bumpy and jolty because the train is actually <laughs> moving now. But uh, it's the start of our anniversary and a couple of little surprises. Mrs C knew pretty much what it was that we were doing on this trip. But did. you didn't know that we were in one of the fancy rooms, did you? I did not. On the train. So we've got this uh, awesome sleeper room. There's only uh, two of these types of room on each section of the train. So uh, we were really lucky <laughs> and now I'm so poor. <laughs> But, oh sorry, it does look a bit belly-like, doesn't it, from there? I'm trying to breathe in, so as not to put you off your dinner. I'm trying to be subtle. Anyway. But anyway, I've got some alcohol-free beer. Mrs C's got the real deal, some Prosecco. Chin-chin. Chin-chin. Happy anniversary, darling. Cheers, my lovely. Mwah. 30 <laughs> years together. We'll uh, see you when we get to Bonnie Jockland. Really? <laughs> Lord above. We have woken up on a sleeper train. Which is good because that's where we went to sleep. Um, Multiple times. Yeah. It's a very odd experience on the sleeper train because the noises change overnight. So whilst it's not difficult to actually sleep through the noises, what is a little bit tricky is when the noises change. It goes from quiet to suddenly sort of banging when they're moving coaches around. But I have to say it's really comfy. What do you think of the lovely. pillow? Lovely, yeah. Weird. Oh, pillow's lovely, yeah. yeah. I know that. <laughs> not plugged in myself honestly um yeah it was really comfy just, it I just didn't sleep very well and I'm six foot two and I can sleep in this bed I'm five really. foot three I was even more fine that's <laughs> oh. fine bully for you <laughs> um one thing about this room though is it's very small and as honestly the present mrs campbell and myself's capacity for trashing hotel rooms um rivals <laughs> that probably of nirvana <laughs> and <laughs> in just the couple of hours that we've been here, the, the mess on the floor, it's just... Only because there's nowhere else to put it. There really is nowhere to put stuff, so uh, yeah, stuff all over the place. But uh, we do have, we have brought stuff with us. I brought because I knew we'd wake up early and I've got a little travel kettle going on there. So um, we've actually been able to have a morning cup of tea. Um, and now, and I'm not going to video this because this is a family show, um, I'm going to try and use the shower. Mrs. C's not keen, but I am. I've paid I'm not for keen this. On you using the shower. Pay for I love this. a smelly man. I am bloody well going to use this shower. <laughs> I don't know how, but I'm going to make it work. <laughs> Good luck. I have had my shower. It wasn't the worst shower I've ever had, but they've just brought us our breakfast. Normally we'd be sitting in a club card having breakfast, which, uh, I said club card, that's a Tesco club card. <laughs> <laughs> in the club car having breakfast looking at all this scenery and I don't mind the fact that we can't do that because of Covid that is just one of those things but what does annoy me is that instead of saying here's 20 quid off your ridiculously expensive ticket because we're only giving you a bacon roll what they've actually said is for your safety we're giving you a bacon roll in your room so I've got a bacon roll and some orange juice which is breakfast fair enough but uh, yeah honestly Scott Rail I think if you would just you just said there's 10 quid off or a voucher for some coffee at a station I'm not even going to it would have been a gesture anyway um, my bacon rolls getting cold so I better better Two eat that slices now. of bacon in the bacon roll though. this is Mrs C eating her bacon roll cheers because she brought her own roll because we actually knew this was going to happen before we arrived forewarned is forearmed but I wanted to show you in case you are watching rainbows I've now got my very own pan bag because I didn't use my brown sauce and my ketchup so I'm going to carry that on my trip with me and uh, if we do happen to chance upon somewhere where I need ketchup I'll be sure to use it and I'll be thinking of you Pam when I do I've got the ketchup as well I've put you with my knife and fork you ripped my piece of camera again huh? this is his voice up to the side I've got one <laughs> I like being the voice up to the side <laughs> Thank you.